I am Mrs. Hubita S. Alejandrino. Salamat Alejandrino. They call me Juby here in the state. But in the Philippines, I am called Jubin as a Filipino name. Being a veteran's wife, sometimes it's an, it is really an honor to be a veteran's wife. Whenever they ask, is she your, your wife? Of course. I'm, and I'm very proud that uh, my husband is a veteran because I know their hardships how to help other veterans too to save our country from being uh, taken by those uh, the Japan the imperial Japanese imperial 2009 when president obama signed that the veterans received the 15000 dollars 2006 my husband died so we did not receive anything so i being the the viuda of the veteran became the president of the Buddha of all that and then we, uh, we petitioned ourselves but right now according to our national coordinator Arturo still uh, still not, uh, not so clear if we can receive anything any benefit from it I feel nothing whenever I know he, he made mistakes for me and my children I brought up my children with the love to their father and respect I never tell them that my husband is like that, that he like that, no. I input, input in their minds that your father is a veteran who had helped our country. And we are surviving because of his name. We live in the house of his relatives in Lucena City and we, we were introduced by letter so we became pen pals. So during that time, 1950, 51, 1948, 49, the parents in Philippines are very conservative. You know, it's a, it's a really, a, I have to tell, I will tell you, you might laugh. <laughs> he invited me, I will teach you how to drive a car, a jeep, and he's a driver. I said, oh, I'm very, I'm very uh, enthusiastic to, to learn. And he's just looking like this. But it should not be like that. And suddenly my mother, passed by and saw us. So at that year, we got married. And I cried and cried. I said, how about my scholarship in school? Because I'm a consistent scholar in school. So after delivering a child, I continued my studies. I am a master's degree in health and science, a Filipino also. So every time I delivered, two, every two years I had a child, I continued my studies. Well, for the younger generation, I do not believe to those parents who are saying, oh, I did not let my children finish education because we are very poor. No, it is for you. Like what I did, I want to take and get something from what I'm telling now. And besides, I want them to instill in the minds of their children, although they are, they are brought up in the States, do not forget our Wiccan Pambansa. Because our Wicca, by flesh and blood, we are really Filipino and must love the culture of our country. I like them to be, to be also instilled in the minds of the younger generation what the veterans have done. If not for the veterans that sacrifice themselves, their life, where are they now? Where are those genera younger generation now? See? So, yearly, they must always uh, love and respect the old, especially if they are veterans.